Okay, so here we are and in this video we're gonna make your first animation that is the bouncing ball. So, um, I remember when I first made my animation, uh, my first animation which was the same as the bouncing ball, I mean, it's the uh, it's the animation that been passed on from generations in the history of animators that the first animation is made as bouncing ball uh, gives a lot of things to teach you and a lot of things you're gonna learn from this and uh, well I was quite excited when I first made my animation and hope you are too and without wasting any time let's get started so first of all to make a ball bounce we need to first make a ball so on the left hand side go to the tools panel and choose the create shape we're going to use this oval shape uh, to create a ball so click and drag to make a ball and uh, something like this so i have a green ball over here so let me change the color i want to i want something uh, something blue ball okay so for that go to the left hand side choose the select shape tool click on the shape to select the shape and on the right hand side you can change the fill color uh, I'll just choose um, this blue um, Yeah. press ok click outside and here's the blue ball now um, what we want to do now is we want to make it bounce so first of all what we can do is go to the um, 12th frame okay and we want that as we go from the 0th frame to the 12th frame I'm talking about in the all the things about in the timeline right okay so click on the 12th frame which brings the red header on the 12th frame and we want that as we go from the 0th to the 12th frame our ball should uh, fall down okay so at the 12th frame our ball should be at the ground so what we want is to bring the ball choose the move tool over here and bring the ball click on the ball and drag it down to the hypothetical ground where you want the ball to bounce so just leave it and as you leave the uh, mouse button you can see in the timeline this gray balls have been created these gray balls are the keyframes. These are the keyframes set for the ball. Okay, that at this frame the ball will be at this position. Uh, click outside, deselect the any points, and so if you click on the zeroth frame and drag your mouse, then you can see that your ball is actually moving. See that your ball is going down. All right, the ball is going down. That's a good thing. Now we want the ball to bounce. I mean, it has to go back to the position where it was before. So we want that the ball should be at back to its place at the 24th frame, right? I mean, 12 frames for going down and 12 frames for going up. So what thing we can do the same thing again using the move tool. You can click on the ball and drag it above back to the position. Now we don't actually know where the position is. We can, I mean, we can move this to above to somewhere like this, but somewhere position and from the zeroth frame to the twenty-fourth frame, you can see the ball is moving up. But we want the ball to be exactly at the same position where we started it first. So if we want that, we can actually copy the keyframe which was at the zeroth position. Click on the zeroth position and choose the keyframe for you can see there are two options one is for the point motion and the other is for the selected point motion so uh, first of all click outside to deselect and this black color one uh, this red color one is for the points which are selected and the above one are for the all the points so we don't want any selected point we just want all the points to move right so select this keyframe uh, the zeroth frame uh, select it by uh, left clicking on it then click on the copy button over here to copy it and go to the 24th frame by clicking on 24 and then paste it now you can see the ball is exactly at the position where it was in the start 
so uh, if you will move and uh, click on the zeroth frame and drag your mouse to see that how your ball is moving down and moving up I mean you know that's what we wanted to create a bouncing ball well here it is but this doesn't look so special right I mean just going down and up I mean the ball it doesn't look realistic so what we're going to do now is we're gonna make the ball go squash when it moves down we're gonna squash the ball and you know stretch the ball when it goes goes back up so that's what we call animation you know? animation is all about um, bragging doing more than what it actually does in real life so let's get started so what we're gonna do is when it goes to 12th frame and when it goes from 12th to the 18th frame it's gonna squash okay so what we can do is first of all copy the 12th to so this keyframe at the 12th frame click on it click on copy and then paste at the 18th frame to paste it on the 18th frame you have to click on the 18th frame bring that red header make sure that this red header is the place where it, where, you're, where you are currently at the frame and click on the paste button so you have this keyframe now now uh, whatever you do editing I mean whatever you make any if you make any changes or changes in the position or shape whatever uh, you are actually making at the frame where this red vertical line is alright this red header so if this red header is on the 18th frame and if I make any change on the ball you are actually creating keyframe on the 18th frame alright so we want the ball to get squashed when it goes to the 18th frame so how we can do is choose this move tool, move tool button and bring this uh, you can see this this point over here just bring it down and move the other points also to make it seem as if it is squashed right so here it is Oh, this seems like a squashed um, ball and if you move your cursor okay this was normal and as we go from 12th to the 18th frame you can see that the ball is being squashed right that's a good thing so the ball is squashed now but if you move ahead we can see the the ball is going the the ball is going back to its original position but the time he's taking is only 6 frames I mean he's bouncing back with double speed as it was falling down I mean this is not right you know if we apply physics so what we have to do is uh, click outside and what you can do is um, you can observe this uh, okay let me tell you about one thing uh, okay, do one thing um, click on any point alright now as you click on a point you can see this red horizont this red horizontal line having keyframes on it these keyframes are for only and only the selected point all right right now i have this point selected the above point and these are the keyframes for this point that means that these are the places these are the frames where the, this point has been edited it might be the position might be anything so we are we have actually changed the position of the point at these certain frames all right and the above one this black one is actually for all the points which i have already told you before but just to make it clear again okay click our side to deselect any point and what we want to do now is select the cop uh, this 24th frame copy it and move it back to the 30th frame I mean paste it on the 30th frame paste and also delete the keyframe that which was on the 24th frame so select the keyframe at the 24th frame and press delete to delete it now our ball takes 12 frames to move down 6 frames to get squashed and then again 12 frames to move back alright so this is quite a good animation that we have created right now and just add a little bit tiny more 
effect on it to just give it um, make it look more special okay so click on the 24th frame and uh, um, I mean we're gonna make the ball go stretch as it goes up so for that what we can do is as it's moving up we can make it stretch so go to the 24th frame and on the 24th frame um, change the shape of the ball as if it's being stretched so how we can change the shape go back to the move tool and make the ball go stretched like this make sure when you're changing the shape of the ball the volume of the ball must remain same I mean the volume cannot change when it's getting squashed when it's getting stretched the volume has to remain same to make it more realistic right I mean the ball won't expand it will only uh, there will only be a change in shape so now we have made the ball seem as if it's being stretched so now if we move back to 0th frame to the 12th frame it's being normal from 12th to 18th it's being squashed and from 18th to 24th it's the ball is moving as if it's being stretched so now this looks quite cool you can move around to see how your ball is bouncing and you know just bouncing and getting stretched I mean man this feels so great when we animate these things I mean you can do whatever you want it's all on your imagination so here we are and this is the bouncing ball this looks quite good so wonderful okay now that's right now we have made the animation now we need to export it now to go to exp uh, for exporting it again I mean converting into a video, video file go to the file menu and uh, click on export animation this window will appear and we have our animation go back to the timeline and you can see that our animation is starting from the 0th frame till the 30th frame so our start frame will be 1 I mean, zero frame is just for uh, you know a setup. The animation always starts on the first frame. So, and the, and the end frame will be 30. Enter 30. And output you can choose any um, extension. I mean, you can have a JPG for a picture. We'll choose AVI for the movie. And just take the default settings for the render quality and click OK name your file as uh, name it as my first animation <laughs> well as I'm typing this it brings back again the time when I made my first animation but I won't go back to the same just click save and these are the video compressions I mean there are a lot of algorithms that you can choose from this I may choose um, full frame uncompressed right now so click OK and you can wait for the animation to complete the rendering um, for now I'm just gonna make it quite fast seems like it's, uh, it's already been exported alright fine I mean, this was that was quite fast here you are with the bouncing ball animation I mean, your first animation go out and show your friends your first animation and <laughs> You know, I mean, I mean, you can show. I mean, when I made my first animation, I showed it to everyone, gone to every friend, and see, hey, look, that's my first animation, man. How do you like it? I mean, go out and show, upload on the video, show to everyone what you have made. Thank you for watching this video, and keep watching the other videos to learn even much more and make more complicated animations. Thank you.